you look at any class that runs here, they can compare to anywhere. anybody in the yep. I've seen online. some of these truck and tractor pullers go out. And Again, we'll see Mr. Beasley here in our light pro stocks. This looks like uh, Zachy Bissett. His only loss in the state of North Carolina, only lost three hooks. So he likes it here. He likes that. Uh, he's only lost three hooks in the whole state all summer long. He's having a good year. So he's, he's obviously winning the points. He's obviously winning the points right now. But now, let me tell you something. We got a young man named White Pickler that actually beat him a couple of weekends ago. All right. You got Justin Sturdivant that stays right up on his nose. So this, this class is one of the tightest classes and everybody wonders, well, why do they always run the tractor classes first? Let's talk about that. What they'll do is as they run down the track, they're kind of packing that dirt in, making creating a, yep, making a road, creating a lane. Now, one thing about this track is, most people will stay where he's at or on the upper side. And very few will come to this side, and that's because normally that start line is conservative. I'm taking Pickler then, because you said, no, no, I'm going to do Abby McDonald. Because that Revelation tractor is from Wisconsin. Yeah, that's right. And, and look, look Abby, can dri Abby drives the snot out of that thing. That's a good deal. Where are the John Deere fans at? Make some noise. 466 cubic inch. They run a box charger. Let's see the 24 fives. Sacky. This is it. This is it. This is it. Don't miss it. You gotta miss it. There you go. Here we go, Zachy. Zachy. Sixty-three, 3.11.63, 27.3 on the speed for Zach Bissett and Dirt Candy. So, so the first point here, the man was put on hard, and it's just a tug of war from here on out. Now, the first puller in every class is what we call a test puller. So they have the option of keeping it in a very down. And our tech officials also have the option of saying, you know what, we're going to light that sled up, or we're going to tighten it up a little bit. Bert's going to get out here, and he's going to find out what the plan is. Yeah. 
Slate is set, he's turning it down. He's keeping it. Oh, they said he's keeping it. 31163. 31163, write it down. So Murph maybe just did the win. So he'll have to go past the other. Murph's out there playing in the dirt because, well, his name's Murph, he plays in the dirt. So that's what he does. He's going to go over here. Get on down here. He's going to go over there in California. That's good. Well, thank you, Justin. I think Justin. You think Justin the win for full bull.us? Yes. So here, here's my thing. This, this is why I say Justin on this one. Okay, This tractor seat, you notice something different about Justin's tractor compared to Zaggy's? Look at the size, of, look at the width of his tires. Okay. I like to just walk around a lot. So like here's the combination we got. This part, right. that, look like how hard that is. Ooh, that's like yeah. hotter. So they've listed that up multiple times today that you have a combination of these two things working together. This came next to this. Wow. So Justin Sturman, right? I see in there, right, Bert? Yep, Sturman. Cornfield Express, White Cross, North Carolina. Thank you so here. Okay, so yeah, I said that, that. The ABC department is real particular. <laughs> All right, here we go, Sturman. All the Cornfield Express. Three eleven oh three twenty six point six on the speed. Why is a very new driver? He's a very young driver. Okay. He's only made about six hooks. Is that a new London? That's where the shelves are from. New London, exactly. South Carolina. No doubt about it. The game changer. And so he's he's learning. You know what it's like. Everybody thinks you're just getting a pulling tractor and you just go. Yeah. And then no, you don't you don't work. Your gear selection, how you how you weight your pulling vehicle. Uh, air pressure, where you spot it on the track, there's a lot, a lot of variables. How you drive it? How you drive it, right? Yeah, that's important. And, and we'll and really see that, like, if this is who I pick, Wyatt Pickler, I got all my, uh, I got all my faith in you, based upon Burton said the fact that you've been running good against that he, 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 he pulled his first well, he's been in the top three out of the last four or five hooks. Okay. 311.63 is a distance to beat. Here we go. on the speed. Carolina's own Wade Jones, one 
more hoss. What's the name behind that name? One more hoss, Bert. Well, know? they got a light crow called One the more. hoss. Sorry, oh, the hoss. Zachy, this set. Like a miss hit, you gotta miss it. 311.63 is tough to beat. Here comes Blake Jones, Timberlake, North Carolina. One more hoss. Zero 25.4 on the speed. Now they've done a lot of work to this tracker. They, at the end of last season, it was a good tracker. It was a middle of the pack tracker. They came out with it this year. It ain't a middle of the pack tracker no more. No. Again, 466 cubic inch fans under the hood. That means they can run a P pump. What does a P pump mean? Each cylinder has its own fuel line. Yep. They can have up to the 24 and a half inch tires on the back. These tractors weigh 9,500 pounds with the driver. And they run a box turbo. I think it's a three by three. Does that sound right? It, it is actually set. Really? It is a, I've got the part number through the turbo. Why do you have a rod in your hand? Oh, I don't know. Is you want to play No, that no. Doesn't. It's a box turbo. You, okay. It's a four corner turbo. Okay. Yeah, it's just off the shelf. It's about 1700 bucks. I like it. And I don't know the exact specs on it. Um, I thought I thought it heard three by three or something, like something earlier today. Maybe it was. Is it a three by three? Okay. But you know, it's a way to keep it fair. Happy. Then we look at our flag officials, and then they look at each other and make sure they're happy. Make sure nothing's parked down at the end of the track to make sure it's safe. Abby girl, I picked you to win. Do what you do. Go get it. Let me hear you, ladies. Three zero one four one twenty six point five on the speed for Abby McDonald. Right down the road in Red Springs is the McDonald family. This this tractor has been making headway all season. Nice. This is a fairly new tractor. So and the thing about truck and trailer food is you don't get the option to go somewhere and just make test look at like this. this is the greatest motor sport in the world. We get one we get one chance. They're still testing. They're still going out going to the track. No, they have brought brand new trackers. Off the showroom floor to get dirty. So I'm glad I'm not a guy that's got to wash it on the You know what I like? We don't have gigantic front wheel assist tractors out here that can't turn. <laughs> there is nothing more annoying in the entire world than when you go to a pull. And the local dealership, which thank God we need them, but they, the guys want the biggest tractors that no the right. Yes. The biggest front wheels. Yep, yep. Zachy, where are you at? Hey, he's probably hey, hiding in the corner. Yeah. Zachy, you should come down here and stand by the bird night. Watch these last two. Watch him get nervous a little bit. Oh, he ain't gonna get nervous. Yeah. <laughs> He's already smoking his three back up in there. Is moving and I'm going to torch all the way to the track, take it over a bit. 
296 there you see it on the board there you go 26.3 on the speed yeah is the honest one of the best diesel tractor classes I've probably been the mini rods of the tractor class because they're so they're lightweight and they got tons of horsepower like a mini rod so I like what Hunter's doing. We've seen these distances been going back. We've seen people go down the middle. We've seen people go down the right side. Let's kick it, let's kick it over left and let it eat. So, so and the thing about it is, that left hand side is a little bit tighter than this right hand side. Like I was saying before, this right hand side on the hole is a little bit softer. Yes, sir. She said, uh, Bert, she said you have a face for radio. I yeah. read her lips. Yeah. I read her lips. She said he has a face for radio. Fans here, who thinks Hunter Beasley's going to win? High Tech Harvester, last one in the class. Got that Beasley last name. That's yeah. kind of like legendary stuff down here. This tractor's always in the top three. Tractor. Yep. Tractor. Let's go. Still in that slump. Thank y'all. 
Thank you. Hey, good, good to see this crowd. Uh, I hope tomorrow night's bigger, and uh, so we can come back to this venue. It's a great venue, great track. Thank you. Big round of applause for Zachy Vincent and Justin Sergeant, our top two trackers in that profile class. So what we're doing, fans, is we're getting the sled ready for the next. We're going to add some weight to the super farm sled. So if you want to run to the bathroom, that'd be well. And, and I'm a tight one down there. But they were bringing me like these mini donuts, and I ate a ton of mini donuts that night. All right. Super Farm winner, Bert. Call it right now. Get on your phones, everybody. Go to the Full Pull app. Fullpull.us. Bernie got bad. He's already been invited to the National Farm Machinery Show. It's such a runner. Yeah. And so you know he's got to slip his stuff. All right. Billy gives him a grin. He's got a grin on the start. He's just turning his arms. He's going to make sure Eight seventy-seven, three two eight seven seven, thirty point five on the speed for Daniel McDonald. And he, and he was one of the guys that was actually putting this track together. So does he know a little something? He should. But he was the one that told me that he was going to be in the top ten. He said he was going to be in the top ten. He said he was going to be in the top ten. He said he was going to be in the top ten. He said he was going to be in the top ten. He said he was going to be in the top ten. He said he was going to be in the top ten. Now we saw it was Pickler that slid over here to the right side of the pro farm class, and he got sucked off too far to the right, had to get on that left brake. So here's the trick. What I'm wondering if she's going to do is when she takes off, and she's put on that brake, she's going to purposely cross track it. Cross track it. We're going to find out. So you need all kinds of jobs. It don't matter. You volunteered your time. Yeah. I did. All right, ladies, let me hear you. Kaylee McDonald on the red mill. Sixty-five, thirty point three on the speed. First Daniel ran 30.5, just so y'all know. A little bit slower, but a little bit more distance. Who's coming back tomorrow night? Raise your hand. I like it. Good stuff. Of course you are, man. Of course you hey. are. Bert, what are you doing? Watch out. You out there beating the track, Bert? I, I gotta go find me a gold digger. I'll be right back. Okay, let me get a cell phone poker. So, I'm, I'm poking. He's poking. Right? As I'm walking along, this track is decided to go to right here in the dead middle of the track. Brad Gautier backing him up to the sled. Now, let's talk a little bit about Brad Gautier. That guy, if you're in the Super Farm, Poker Farm, or Light Pro, you need to talk to this guy because he's the guy that's probably going to keep you running all year long. He's managing about probably over three quarters of the tractors that are running here tonight, keeping them running. So, a hey, shout out to Angry Duck Graphics. They do all the t-shirts for everybody. If you want a t-shirt, they're right down here next to us for sale. I think it's a guy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Maybe you got long hair. I can't tell. Maybe you're a dude with long hair. Whatever. All right. 
69 30.5 on the speed again real good speed you guys know these pullers better than i do make those pitches win some cash it's a lot of fun it's free to play free to play robbie jackson autryville north carolina melon mania hey you know what he does what's he do does he build melons yeah he builds melons yeah he how does he build them hey i it's going to be loud, it's going to be loud, and then it's going to be awesome with Crutchfield and Harrell and the Unsupers in the last class of the night, those light pro stock 4x4s. Four Here we go, John Deere fans, make some noise, this is your only chance in the class. Forty-six on that. Looks like thirty point six. That's the highest model. There's another green one in this class. Yeah, this one. I thought you said there's only one. I should pay attention. You didn't understand my age on the I'm from Asia, home county, North Carolina. Bottled in the lead on that red mule at three thirty-eight. Russell Mullins on nothing special. Your last opportunity, John Deere fans. Coming up right here. Ladies and gentlemen, give all these super four pullers a great big round of applause. 
Locked in. That's a totally different engine than what I had in it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, no, it, it, it Waffle House on a first. Hey, right now, Bert, say it out loud. I'm grabbing 100 BC in the power house. I'm going with Kendall on this one. He's taking the first color. Kendall BC. Fans, you're getting your 6,000 RPMs as they leave the starting line. These tractors are making 3,000 horse. 540 cubic inch, 24 inch tires. They have a peak pump and they have a big one. One turbo under the hood, I think up to four and a half inches. Four and a half inches, Dylan, and listen to this. If this doesn't make you smile, you shouldn't be here. He's keeping it and the sled is set. Probably 10, 15 years ago. This was out of a 1977 GMC with a 427. My uncle started in front of and that's how we got started. Are you one of them orders? Yeah, just like a confession. 
Unfortunately, my uncle passed away and we were cleaning up all the pack houses. They actually found a 427. This was a good piston. There was one that was still hanging outside of one. But, um, but that tells you, look at how much compression he was running on. He run a four-wheel drive class wow. back in front of stock EOT tires. But feel the weight of that. Feel how heavy that is. Okay? This is out of uh, the Pure Country tractor. Bill and Rod, built by Roger Crutcher. Yeah. He's here tonight. Yeah, he's he right he right 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 Now pay attention, it's kind of hard during the night time, but watch the smoke, folks. It's going to go gray, it's going to go cold, right? It's going to light up when he starts to get in that water. Three oh eight eighty three, twenty nine point four on the speed. So Kendall, his father, has given him a good set of tires. They built this whole setup, and I talked to Kendall the other week when I was interviewing. Him. I said, Kendall, are you going to take your tires back, man? I mean, come on. Does he have a set of those parts on the back? Or what's I, he got? I, I don't know what. All I know is it's a good. <laughs> Listen to those RPM fans. This is awesome. Love me a light pro. This tractor will turn some more. Here, let me get out of your way so you can take a good point of breath. on the speed. Don't forget about your 50-50 there. We only have one person walking around with 50-50. That's right. Oh, cross space going to navigate to. Alright, FFA, I just like her. Ron has had some tough luck here the last couple of weeks. He has literally gone through, what, three fuel systems? Three sets of injectors and three hooks. The tractor pulling is for people who hate money and love work. All righty, Ron's good. That's our VMs up. And see how it goes. And David, why didn't you say anything? Really?
So Bert, I saw that smoke. Right here. I don't know if that's extra water coming on or not inside there, but it's put the fire out basically at about 100 feet. And you know, and so the, the same issue he had the last couple of weeks, what would happen when that fuel system failed? It would do that right there. It might be that too. So I don't know. Any I just issue. see the smoke turning gray, so to me it's either too much water or too much fuel. And he's, he's cooling down the motor. But again, you know, they might have it set a little safe too. They don't want to hurt anything. So, you know what? I would be super happy if I could actually take a winner for once in the full bowl game. I run around the country promoting it, and I really suck at playing the game. <laughs> for, but right you know, now, you're in a league with I know, but there's one more to go. Dude Jones. I mean, that's 20371 is where he's going to end up. 23.6 on speed. 20371. Go, go, go. I like it earlier. He said, better than tractor pullers. Yeah. Because, you know, they have the small, like the Trulers have the smaller tires. Like it's just like four wheel drive guys. Yeah. You know, they'll study oh. it until three seconds before I saw a TikTok last week. There's a bunch of four wheel drive truck pullers poking around, and then somebody said, guess what class is next? <laughs> last night, bro, Power Hound 100 Beasley. Get a lead at 312. I hope that's where he stays. Just saying. <laughs> All right. If you go, go, go. Robert Campbell's Lofty in Maryland, he calls his truck reckless. Now, this class is awesome. Yes. There you see a 29.2 on the speed for Robbie Campbell. Out coming out of Lothian on Reckless. I wonder if they keep their vehicles at home as clean as they do their pulling trucks. All right. Your starting line flagman right there on the wall, Bill a Overbay. I got Nikki Friedman down here on the end, and the unhooker is the photographer, or he was, Jeremy Tyndall, the official photographer of the UPOC. All Saturday night and all Friday night is bad. This this truck did a clean sweep last year. All right, you see Brandon Lee back him up. He is the first official dead board.
343 32.3 on the speed. For Chris Lee. He's keeping it, 343. That truck won last year, so is that going to be the mark to beat? We'll find out. The long story short, if you're going to 77, this guy can read his track right through the you follow whatever he does. Out of he doesn't have all the horsepower in the world, but he knows how to put the maximum amount. Twenty-six thirty-two point one on the speed for Alan Brown. Coming up next, don't forget come down to the T-shirt down here by the announcer stand. Get on the full full app, take some pics, win some cash. You got friends from the Fire Department? Come right here, find us when you say, "Hey, I need a ticket." One dollar. That's all you gotta give. Fifty-six thirty-one point seven on the speed for Kevin T. SSR body. There he is. You should be over by Randy Davis. Yeah.
7 on the speed.
327 30.7 on the speed, 327 There is the Carolina Charger. Jimmy Johnson from Carolina. Gary Wilson continues to lead with Brennan Bear at 354. Al Brown's in second at 351. Chrisley's in third at 343. Over here, top three right now. Three forty two sixty six, three four two six six. Thirty two point zero on the speed for JJ. Two point eight on the speed, three forty nine ninety nine, three four nine 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 for Brandon Lee. Thirty-four point five 
on the speed 381.51. On their speed, and all of a sudden that truck hooked up. Yeah. Darren Wilson, Chris Frederick, Maryland, very money. Now I hit this truck and so did Jeremy. Finish in the top three on the full full and the full full US. Darren Wilson, Chris Frederick, Maryland. Robert Gamble, Lock Young, Missouri. Six twenty four thirty point one on the speed for Darren Wilson and Dirty Money. We, we all confirm, we our numbers. One three ten, and then they reset the sled. All right, man, oh man. Hey, you know it's a hard decision for somebody like Chris. Here we go, last one in the class, Robert Campbell. Loki in Maryland, reckless. He was our first puller. He was our test puller. One, three, ten. They turned it out. Fans are going to go mini rod pulling after this. Chase, he's going to have to have a monster pass. Chase Richardson is way out there at 381. Look at the something and pull could be a blower belt kevin's looking at it right now so i'm gonna run out there because i have a wireless microphone i don't know if it'll go that far but we can try it what what did you want me to say 
They're looking things over out here, Bert. I see Kevin. Lindsay's got her gloves on. 29.59 on that first attempt. Test puller, each puller gets two attempts, but the first puller can also drop after their second attempt if something should be wrong. The kill's, the kill's intact, everybody. Every little blower belt's on there. They're going to drop to the bottom of the class. So we're, we're talking about the mission box. So she's running the MSP 44, correct? Yes. So that MSD 44, you do not want to hold on to that spark plug wire. 3,000 in this yeah. class now. So. Yeah. But hey, he's here. He wants to pull a lumber tip. Let's have a good pass. This, we call this the Econo Modified class back home. They're, no. they're everywhere. Well, All right, he's got a green light, green flag. But again, again, quick. Sixty-one, seventy-one, one, sixty-one, seventy-one, thirteen, 61, 71, 16, 71, 13, so, even question. orange. You know, well, you're... <laughs> you Definitely thank you so much. <laughs> Robinson County Farm Bureau, you see the sign moving around. Just look, the best thing about Farm Bureau insurance around here, whatever county you're in, just Google it. And they will find you, whoever you need to talk to. Farm Bureau, no doubt about it, one of the best insurances around. Southern State, quality equipment we're talking about. Dylan Cracker, thank you for the rest of the money that we're using here tonight. More about him. Thank you for that. Short fuse, 
Dave Sumpson and the MSP Mops probably was working. Here we go, it comes time. Now, he decided he wanted, he did not like this land of Old Green, so he wanted to unhood from it. Yeah, he did. That's the first time. All right, let's have these things on all fours. Tom Miller out of Bimini, Ohio. And 32, 286 and 32. Make sure you know Cody. Uh, I'm sorry. His parents, 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 his Huh? He's a good, he's an awesome announcer. I just wish I had more of your accent. Well, you can move up to Wisconsin with me. Wisconsin? <laughs> we have <laughs> See me walk and say, you don't need that. <laughs> Get in the dirt first. Well, here comes Snowy Single there. Better hurry, sir. He moves the sled over to that right side. He's looking for that 380 foot pass down the road. All right, we got a great light. Local hometown guy right here. side was not as much. 321.90, 29.4.
147, 21.0 on the speed. It kind of looked like he got out of it. Yeah. 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 She kind of popped up on them willy bars a couple of good times, and I think it was because it never was fully open, open. So I'm not sure what. Oh, it check out this thing. That's pretty cool. That's cool right there. I guess you don't have to worry about muddy pit areas with that. That's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Kind of a. That thing is cool. Yeah. It's that time of year. Seventy nine thirty eight two seven nine three eight twenty four point six on the speed.
340 on the speed for Lindsey Campbell and short fuse. DSI Services Rail Farms, Ferguson Waterworks of Fayetteville. Proudly sponsoring the public in North Carolina from Ann Bradford Bowl. I think he might be going to Dairy Queen. He is, he's going to Dairy Queen. Yeah. yeah. That got up, got up walking. And he just kind of, he went left on it and he did the right thing. So, so okay. awesome mini rock class. No complaints at all. Got a late one out there, just awesome. And everybody else was right there bunched about the same distance. So, you know, that's the thing about it. Jeff just found the magic. There is, and there's nothing wrong with that. Every now and then, you just have the perfect pass. Yes, exactly. Everything works like it's supposed to. Everything. You get hooked up to the track, and you are gone. All right, now we're going to open super stocks now. Two open supers, four full. Congratulations to Jeff Hurt. How do you do in our full pool? Uh, <laughs> he goes out of bounds. I needed him to be in the top three. You know? Yeah. But I did pick him in the jewel drive class. Yeah. So we're all good there. You cleaned your house on our Then she can drive a mini rod. Well, she, did, she proved that tonight. Yeah, she, may, she may be only driven a half a dozen times the competition. You want to hear the interesting part of this right here? Do you like? You do. That is actually Robbie's old chassis. Yeah. That's awesome. With green sheet metal. With green sheet metal. Oh, they got that is the old brutal force. With green sheet metal. Andy does his John here all the way. Yep. I like Andy's uh, dealing with some family issues with his father, and so Rob said, I'll drive it. Why not? Robbie Crutchfield, green line, green flag. Listen to wind up those three big turbos. 650 cubic inches. Let's see where he does. Thirty-one point seven on the speed. Three thirty. 
342 40, 342 40, 32.7 on speed. Congratulations to Marty Harrell. Okay, 4,000 pounds, they're running one single carburetor, okay, 500 cubic inches max. Okay. I have never seen these light four-wheel drives. I'm excited to check these So, let's tell you a little bit about it. Believe it or not, the weight of the sled doesn't change between the mini rods and this. They will just extend the chain. So it loads them a little heavy. But the thing about these trucks is they build on a big, uh, a, like a hard type clay track, they will build some ground speed. They will flat out fly where you can't even hold them straight. But these are just a 500 cubic inch running on racing gas. This class is only getting busy. Gagging it and getting busy, right? All righty. Green light, green flag, here we go. Sixteen twenty six twenty eight point zero on the speed for Glenn Walker and getting busy. What are you doing, Mr. Allen? Why is that? Oh, it is for I picked. Yep, and my full pull picks here. Full pull app, full pull that US. Getting busy and running wild, and you have Tigger and killing time. Two, three, 18.52, 27.7 on the speed. You know, I have a feeling my wife is going to start uh, complaining about me playing on my cell phone. I think so, yeah. Because I got a 
That, I can see where I can get really involved with that. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a hoot. We're still in that, just letting everybody know about it. Martin Jr. Tigger, this is one of Bird's picks. I like the looks of this truck. Hey, well, if you can't see this truck, you got a problem. I love the bright orange. Twenty six point seven on the speed three oh four five three one truck to go. This is the one we've been waiting for right here. Right here. Three eighteen point five two is the lead. Set by running wild. Glenn Walker's in second. Get busy. Three sixteen Bush Martin Jr. went three oh. I don't know a lot of these boys. Facebook friend now. <laughs> Have a great night, everybody. All right, drive careful. Don't do anything Bert wouldn't do. Or I would. <laughs> <laughs>